NATO leaders will today warn that China's coercive practices and expanding nuclear arsenal are a systematic threat and need to be tackled. At a summit in Brussels, they will express serious concern that Beijing is forming closer ties with Russia, the military alliance's traditional foe. Officials are working hard to mend rifts between NATO member states amid growing divisions over plans to tackle China's assertive foreign policy strategy. There are currently two camps with different mindsets over how to challenge Beijing's emergence as a global superpower. As a result of the divisions, discussions are still underway over the planned statement to be issued by leaders from the Transatlantic Security Alliance. NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg said, There are, of course, opportunities and we need to engage with China, on issues like climate change and arms controls. But China's military buildup, growing influence and coercive behavior also pose some challenges to our security, and we need to address them. U.S. President Joe Biden is pushing for tougher language than the last NATO statement, issued in December 2019, on China. Prime Minister Boris Johnson will also urge partners to look beyond Europe and the Atlantic to address challenges further afield including in the Indo-Pacific region where China has been making its military presence felt. Chinese military drills with Russia and plans to establish bases in Africa have sparked concerns amongst Western leaders. Claudia Major, a defense analyst at the German Institute for International and Security Affairs, said, this is not about NATO going to China. It's about China is coming to Europe and we have to do something about it. Quote dot, Beijing has built up the world's largest naval fleet and invested in critical European communications and logistics infrastructure. This has spooked military chiefs, who are growing wary of potential Chinese threats, a British military official told the FT, China through its navy has come through the Indian Ocean, into the Gulf, up to the Red Sea and they've been in the Mediterranean. You build nuclear submarines for range and stealth. And China does like to test the boundaries. But efforts to issue a joint NATO statement are expected to be largely watered down because of a difference in opinions between its leaders. Hungary is one member that has particularly close and solid politics ties with Beijing.